dear children this is roshni from learno hub the free learning platform where you get to learn physics chemistry maths biology everything for free at learnohub.com so i am here today with the third video on physical and chemical changes class 7 science and in this video we are going to do some questions yes so in the last two videos we had discussed a lot about the theory and the concepts of change physical and chemical change now is the time that we really see that how much of it have we actually understood so we are going to look at a lot of questions so what are we waiting for let's get started question number 1 classify the changes involved in the following processes as physical or chemical changes photosynthesis so what happens during the process of photosynthesis it is the process by which plants prepare their own food using carbon dioxide and water so during this process carbon dioxide and water combines in presence of light to form glucose that is carbohydrate c6h12o6 plus oxygen so basically you see new chemical substances are being formed so therefore this is going to be a chemical change so photosynthesis is a chemical change next is dissolving sugar in water so when we dissolve sugar in water no chemical reaction takes place as such no new chemical substances are formed it is just that sugar and water they remain together for some time and also the change is reversible so when you heat this sugar solution what happens is sugar and water get separated out so this is a physical change burning of coal burning of coal again is a chemical change because when we burn coal lot of heat is released light is released and at the same time ashes are produced so chemically they are different from coal melting of wax so melting of wax again is a physical change why because in this case chemical composition remains the same wax still remains the same it is just the state changes for initially it was solid and now when it starts melting it becomes semi solid and again it is also a reversible change so it is a physical change beating aluminum to make aluminum foils so when we beat aluminum we are only trying to change its shape so only the physical the property is being changed chemically it is still the same so this is again going to be a physical change digestion of food so when the food gets digested it is broken down into simpler forms so chemically it is changing carbon complex carbohydrates are broken down into simple sugars similarly proteins are broken down into amino acids fats are broken down into fatty acids and so on so digestion of food is a chemical change question number 2 state whether the following statements are true or false cutting a log of wood into pieces is a chemical change so when you cut something so it is only the shape and the size that is changing chemical composition remains the same so basically this is not a chemical change it is a physical change so the statement is false formation of manure from leaves is a physical change now how do we form manure so do you know how exactly do we prepare manure so all the leaves and all the vegetable wastes they are taken together and then they are all mixed together and they are kept uh, put and you put some water and allow them to get completely rotten and that's how manure which is rich in organic matter is produced so a lot of chemical changes take place during the formation of manure new substances are being formed which are rich in um, organic matter so therefore this is not a physical change it is a chemical change so this statement is also false iron pipes coated with zinc do not get rusted easily that is true because when you apply a coating of zinc zinc do not get rusted so that's how it protects iron also from being rusting and this process is called galvanization so this is true iron and rust are the same substances this is false what is iron iron is fe what is rust it is oxide of iron so they are different substances 
condensation of steam is not a chemical change that is true because when you condense steam what happens you get water so steam is also h2o water is also h2o so chemically it still remains the same it is only the state which is changing from gas to liquid so it is a physical change so obviously the statement is correct that it is not a chemical change so it is true question number 3 fill in the blanks when carbon dioxide is passed through lime water it turns milky due to the formation of as we saw in the reaction calcium carbonate is formed the chemical name of baking soda is so baking soda is a base and the baking soda is called sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate so it can its chemical formula is nahco3 this is sodium bicarbonate or baking soda two methods by which rusting of iron can be prevented are dash and dash so one popular method is galvanization so in galvanization what do we do we provide a coating of zinc over iron and zinc is uh, corrosion resistant so therefore it protects the iron from being rusted the other method could be painting or greasing or oiling any of these will work changes in which only dash properties of a substance change are called physical changes so physical changes deal with physical properties of course this properties which can be seen observed and measured changes in which new substances are formed are called new substances in uh, means substances with new chemical composition so these kind of changes are called chemical changes question number 4 when baking soda is mixed with lemon juice bubbles are formed with the evolution of a gas what type of change is it now what is baking soda baking soda is sodium bicarbonate that is nahco3 and what does lemon juice contain lemon contains citric acid right now citric acid and acids contain h plus ions all acids contain h plus ions now when this sodium bicarbonate or baking soda reacts with the h plus ions of the citric acid it forms it dissociates into sodium ions and h2co3 so this h2co3 is carbonic acid and what happens to this h2co3 this carbonic acid further dissociates to form h2o and co2 so this was aqueous solution of this acid in water and it forms a liquid water and gaseous carbon dioxide and due to this evolution of this carbon dioxide we see the bubbles so this carbon dioxide is released as bubbles so that that is how the entire chemical reaction takes place when baking soda is mixed with lemon juice so you see lot of chemical changes take place so of course this is a chemical change so undoubtedly we can say that this is a chemical change so let's see question number 5 when a candle burns both physical and chemical changes take place identify these changes give another example of a familiar process in which both the physical and chemical changes take place now when a can when a candle burns a couple of things take place for example the wax starts melting so that melting of wax what happens during melting of wax so during melting of wax it is basically the solid wax which is being converted into a liquid form but composition wise it still remains the same so melting of wax is a physical change whereas during the same burning of candle the wax, uh, some part of the wax is also burning right so that part of the wax which is actually burning in that case what is happening wax is actually getting converted into new chemical substances heat is released light is released which symbolizes that it is a chemical change so both the changes are taking place during the same process now we can think of another process like burning of wood so when the wood gets burned it is a chemical change of course because uh, carbon dioxide is released uh, ashes are being formed at the end so new substances are formed so that is a chemical change 
but at the same time wood contains a lot of water so that water also gets converted into water vapor so that part is a physical change because water and water vapor both have same chemical composition that is h2o it is just that their state is changing from liquid to vapor so that is so that is also a part of burning of wood and that part is a physical change question number 6 so we had discussed the process of curd formation in detail right so what happens during the process of curd formation if you take some milk you put some small amount of curd just as a starter and then leave it for overnight and the curd settles down so this conversion of milk into curd that happens and during this process due to the action of this bacteria called lactobacillus which is present in curd what happens is lactic acid is produced and due to the formation of lactic acid we know acids are sour in taste so due to the formation of lactic acid curds get a sour taste so during this process again new chemical substances like lactic acid are being formed so this is a chemical change explain why burning of wood and cutting it into small pieces are considered as two different types of changes now that's quite obvious because now when we talk about burning of wood what happens here heat is released light is released at the same time new substances are formed for example carbon dioxide is released ashes are formed correct now all these symbolizes which type of change it symbolizes chemical change whereas when you look at cutting wood into small pieces what are the changes that are involved size changes shape changes but the chemical composition changes no change in chemical composition do you think the small pieces of wood can be joined together to form a bigger piece yes of course it can be done so it is a reversible change so all these show that cutting it into small pieces is a physical change question number 8 explain how painting of an iron gate prevents it from rusting now when we paint it paint acts as a protective layer between the iron and the air and moisture because iron when reacts with air and oxygen oxygen present in the air and water so that that is why moist air we want to prevent iron from moist air so we have to uh, break the contact of iron and moist air and for that purpose we provide a layer between iron and moist air so that layer is the paint here so it prevents iron from coming in contact with oxygen and moist air and therefore it prevents rusting question number 9 explain why rusting of iron objects is faster in coastal areas than in deserts because in coastal areas you have the water bodies nearby you have the sea nearby so lot of water so lot of moisture in the air but in deserts hardly there is any water so obviously the air is also very dry so the presence of moist air always uh, increase the uh, possibility of rusting so moist air is present more in coastal areas than in deserts so air has more moisture in coastal areas and because of this the chances of rusting is also more question number 10 the gas we use in kitchen is called liquefied petroleum gas or lpg so in the cylinder it exists as liquid when it comes out from the cylinder it becomes a gas then it burns the following statements pertain to these changes choose the correct one so here we have assumed that the change a refers to the change of the liquid gas inside the cylinder into the gaseous form when you switch on the oven of your gas so what kind of change is that so the composition of the gas that is lpg still remains the same it just changes its state from liquid to gas so what kind of change is change a change a is a physical change and what happens when it burns now when it burns heat is released little bit of light is released and also what happens when it gets burned new substances are being formed so this burning is a chemical change 
So let's see which is the right one. Process A is a chemical change. No, process A is physical. Process B is a chemical change. Yes, this is correct. Question number 11. Anaerobic bacteria digest animal waste and produce biogas. The biogas is then burnt as fuel. The following statement pertain to these changes. So again, you have four options. So the first option is digestion of animal wastes to produce biogas. So when the anaerobic bacteria act on these waste materials, so a lot of new chemical substances will be formed. So obviously this change A is a chemical change. When you look at the change B, which is burning of the fuel, again heat is released. Burning of fuel means new substances will be produced, maybe carbon dioxide will be released when fuels are burned. So this is also a chemical change. So that means both A and B are chemical changes. So the third option is the correct one. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on uh, physical and chemical changes would have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. So children, I hope you found the video useful. If you have a feedback to share, do let us know in the comment section. Feel free to join our telegram group. The link is given in the description. So I will meet you all very soon with a new video with a new topic. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.